Good morning everyone, I hope you all had a good weekend and um, we're going to start off the day with some nice and gentle stretches so just start off with sitting down and spread your legs as wide as you can and just move gently from side to side keep your breath nice and calm we're not going to go vigorously today we're just going to go nice and gentle so each stretch will be about a minute so you've got nine minutes in total that we're doing today so you want to start adding in the arms bring your arm over try and reach the toes of the legs you're going towards and keep your back nice and straight not rounded make sure you keep an open posture And keep breathing, focusing on drawing your breath in and out. And we're going to go into a hamstring stretch now. So bring your feet, your legs together, lengthen your spine, and move towards your feet. Make sure that your toes are pointing towards the ceiling or the sky if you're doing this outside and just rock gently back and forth if you can reach towards your feet if you've got a belt you can put the belt under your feet and move that use that to move yourself slightly closer to your feet Next coming up, we're going to open up our hips and stretch our quads. So you want to get ready to sit back on your legs. And place your arms on the floor behind you and then push up towards the sky. Keep your chest nice and open. Really open up those hips. And keep breathing. Just focus on the movement and focus on the stretch. now you want to go into an open chest so you're going to sit on your feet interlock your fingers behind your back and push towards the ground so you open up your chest and draw your shoulders back and just sit here and breathe in and out and in and out. Think about what goals you're setting yourself for the week ahead and appreciate what you have accomplished so far. You feel that stretch in your chest. From here, you're just going to tilt forwards, put your forehead on the ground and let your arms rest, pulling down over your head with the gravity. This can be quite a challenging stretch, so if you need to come out of it and just shake it off, that is absolutely fine. For every breath, feel gravity pull on your hands, your arms opening up your shoulders. So we carry a lot of tension in our shoulders, so 
we're going to focus quite a bit on them. So start coming out of that, sit back on your heels and interlace your fingers in front of you, keeping the palms towards yourself. You really want to put the stretch out so you're kind of separating your shoulder blades and turn it around so your palms are now facing outwards and really push away and keep focusing on your breath. Keep breathing, being in tune with yourself. Next up, we're going to go into a pigeon for those of you who do yoga. So you want to place your leg in front of you with a bend and sit back, keeping your hips square. Just changing position here so you can see it from the front. And I want you to sit back into it. Again, opening up your chest, drawing your shoulders back and down. Feel free to close your eyes and with every breath, feel yourself sliding a bit deeper into the stretch. Well done. We're going to swap legs. So over to the left one now. Again, draw your shoulders back and sit into it, keeping your hips square. This is great for opening up tight hips and also tight glutes. If you find it difficult to keep open hands on the mat, just make a fist to help steady yourself. And really sit into it and keep breathing. Just close your eyes and focus on yourself. As you start to think about coming out of this stretch, put your hands slightly forwards on the mat and get onto all fours. Lean back and stand up. The last thing to stand up would be your head. So you roll through your spine. Now grab your belt and we're going to dis do some shoulder dislocations. So just grab your belt and a wide grip and go over your head in front and back. See if you can synchronize your breath with your movements. So we spent this morning being kind to ourselves. I encourage you all to be kind to those around you for the upcoming week. I hope you found this beneficial and I hope everyone has a good week and I'll see you later.